I'm Aaron Strout. We're live from Stubbs, live from South by Southwest 2014, live from the X. And I have another fantastic guest today, John Battelle. Uh, many of you have heard his name before, former CEO of Federated Media, current executive chairman of Sovereign, uh, CEO of Nuco, multiple book author, and uh, the, one of the guys that actually founded this uh, magazine you may have heard of, Wired Magazine. Welcome, John. So John, uh, Doing a little bit of a redux from yesterday in our discussion, you've been lucky enough to, uh, I shouldn't say lucky enough, you were smart enough to have the foresight to ride the front of the wave of Web 1.0. Uh, you created one of the first uh, banner ads while you were at Wired. You helped start Wired. Um, what are we seeing now? Like, what is, what are we evolving into? And, and what's next in terms of this spectrum? <clears throat> it's interesting. Um, I think it was part of the, uh Something I tweeted at your conference yesterday um, got picked up, and someone uh, replied to me and CC'd my partner at the Web2 Summit, Tim O'Reilly. Oh, yeah, yeah, I met Tim and, before. And uh, we wrote a paper in 2009 called Web Squared. I had completely forgotten I had written this paper. Um, but it Hopefully, because it was not that it wasn't <laughs> no, good, no, that it's just, it just you know, was so I mean, long ago. I, I think yeah. over time you just you do a lot of things and you forget you did them, and it's nice to be reminded. And the point of the paper was. Um, we are at the, at the precipice of an explosion in uh, a new form of computing based on um, real-time uh, uh, data and insights from real-time data um, at a massive scale. Um, and, the, and, the, and essentially the sort of glassification of the world so, like that, that. so that everything becomes a surface that is that the, the interface between um, compute and data and human insight and action. Um, and the first piece of glass is the mobile glass. I think, <clears throat> you know, and so that was five years ago we wrote this right. paper, um, and someone said, wow, I just reread it, and you were totally right. <laughs> That's actually even cooler that <laughs> you have know, forgotten about yeah, it. Yeah, someone and said right. it, you know, and, they, and then I, I brought it up and I read it again. I was like, yeah, I remember really thinking hard about that paper. Right. What I realized is, is much of that has happened. Much of the world now is turning uh, into data, and, and we are, as a culture, obsessing over how, uh, how much we can do that, what does it mean? The Snowden revelations, um, I think, brought the conversation right. up a whole nother notch and made everyone realize what a big deal this right. was. I think that where we're headed is um, to understanding uh, first principles about all of this, because I don't think we ever really had that conversation. And to me, first principles include um, uh, an, un an understanding of transparency, uh, access, rights to data, um, what should the compute platform for data be? Should it be in the cloud, or should it be in my person? And I think over the next five years, the biggest thing that's going to happen, I believe, uh, and I also hope, <laughs> is that the uh, permissions and the compute uh, shift from the cloud to the person. And, and I see it as uh, a whole nother version of what we knew as the web, um, where the web becomes us. Right. Um, and uh, we start to take control over our agency um, through data, um, and, and companies and marketers start to push that control back to the place it should be, which is the individual, um, and the individual receives that control in some way that it makes sense. And I often use the example of, um, of clothing. So, you know, we get dressed every day, hopefully, if we're going out hopefully, into the world. Yeah. Um, and we just spend a bit of time thinking about what we're going to wear. Um, right. And then throughout the day, we spend some time making sure, it, you know, fixing it up. Or if we go somewhere else, we might put a tie on or we might, you know, put on a t-shirt or whatever. We don't spend much time actively thinking about how we dress, but we spend a lot of time doing it. Right. Uh, I think the same thing is true of our information about us. We, um, I think... If you're over 35, probably don't spend an awful lot of time thinking about how you dress yourself in data. Um, if you're uh, under 25, you probably spend half your day thinking about it um, in terms of taking selfies and managing your page on Facebook or your image on Instagram or, you know, or on WhatsApp or Snapchat or, or, or. Um, I think it's quite natural to dress yourself in data. Um, and I think over time, all of us will be doing that um, and start to demand that we have some agency uh, over all that information. Um, and so I think the compute platform uh, that initially was the PC, then moved to the mobile, is going to be the world. 
um, and how we interact with the world as we do physically, um, we will with data and increasingly the tools and innovations brought to bear that will give consumers that kind of power are the ones that are going to win. Great. I'm going to shift gears a little bit. We didn't get a chance to talk about your new book. You've written a couple of others. Right. If Then, which if I, then. I love the title. Yeah. Um, when is it coming out? And talk a little bit about what the book focuses well, on. Well, my publisher hopes it'll be. Uh, <laughs> my publisher hopes it'll be uh, uh, finished by early next year and, and out by the middle to the year to possibly the fall, depending on um, on iterations. Uh, the the focus of the book is, I mean, in essence, the the last book was a, sort of a declaration of the importance of search and mm -hmm. how uh, search has become uh, had become a technology that had changed our relationship to knowledge uh, and, and our relationship to commerce. Um, this is almost a sequel in that uh, initially search was sort of the big first step right. to creating web two. So this book is about the next step as to where we're going. The idea is if um, a billion people use the sets of technologies that I describe in mm -hmm. the book, then what kind of a world do we live in? Um, and the technologies uh, include autonomous vehicles, drones, cars, um, uh, uh, technology that allows uh, you to project digital information onto physical space. So you think about Google Glass or, or you know, augmented reality. Microfluidic chips, which uh, allow you to uh, manage the interface. That sounds dirty, by the way. <laughs> Microfluidic, it is dirty because it's biology. It's, it's actually hydraulic chips that allow you to decode DNA and manage it as information, which is a mind bender. Um, uh, and uh, sensor media, like mm -hmm. the device I have on my wrist, um, which turns your body into data. Um, so the whole idea is all these things turn you into data or allow data to become physical, like a 3D printer. Um, so I'm exploring all of those and using that as a vehicle uh, to sort of interrogate the question of what world are we making. So I'm going to pivot one more time, just in the spirit of the show. It's live from Stubbs, we like to talk about Austin things, yeah. right? So yeah. technology. Yeah, I can't wait to do some. Well, actually, last night I saw some great music. You did. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yes, yeah. you were down on six. Yeah. Um, so speaking of music, you know, what gives you inspiration? Where do you get it? Are you a Spotify guy, a Pandora guy? I'm uh, late to the Spotify train, but I'm on it. Yeah. Um, and and really, the reason is I started a band four years, three years ago. That's right. I knew that. Uh, and I, I learned to play drums, and my bandmates all were on Spotify. I was still a get the CD and rip it in my computer kind yeah. of guy because I like owning yeah. music. Um, and I didn't like the idea of, of, of renting it, you know, of leasing music. I like the idea that it's mine. And Spotify, it does feel like you've got access to just about everything. So um, I'm, I use that now because we share playlists for our band. Um, but I still do go back to my original iTunes and, you know, and I still do like to buy music from Amazon or, or, or iTunes uh, and feel like I own it. Um, and I love to go see live music. I s recently saw Lord here on, and um, yes. we all... interviewed them for the show. As oh, a matter of fact, did you really? Yeah, love yeah, they're those, great guys. Love yeah. those guys. Yeah, it's just they can't do any wrong by me right now. It's just like they're awesome. And uh, before that, saw Alt J, um, Morning Benders. I mean, there's just so much great music. It's so, it's actually very very uh, uplifting because when you think about five years ago, everyone was saying it's the end of music, right? right? And you know, the album sales are. There's no way to make a living as a musician, and there's just more musicians than ever now, and more good music than ever. So it's really cool to see. Right. So completing the trifecta barbecue, and uh, <laughs> I, saw, I know I know you've yeah. been to Austin a few well, times. Well, I mean, thanks to you last night, I had you know pork three ways. That was <laughs> we did have a lot of pork awesome. last night. I, I, there's there's no way I could have eaten all of that. No, but I no. did try it all. It was yeah, very there good. was a big slab. Yeah, that was a plate of pork. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, hitting Stubbs and Salt Lake, and you know. I saw a place on the way here that looked really good. It's called Sam's Barbecue, and their motto was, uh, you don't need teeth to eat my beef. <laughs> I think there's a compliment in there somewhere. So, well, we, we do have a, a party going on tomorrow night at Franklin's, which has been rated you know, one of the best. And awesome. I can tell you the, bris the brisket is to die for. So, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, if you want to swing by, that would be yeah. great. But uh, John, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I Absolutely. know you're busy, and uh, have a great South by Southwest. Yeah. Thank you. And this is Aaron Strout. We're wrapping up uh, live from Stubbs, live from South by Southwest 2014. Thanks for joining us.